In today's video, I did three different things to upgrade our base to the next level. But now it is time for the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another Minecraft hardcore video. You know how it works. If I die, this series ends. <laughs> but welcome to episode 14. Now, today we're actually going to be doing something I'm pretty excited for. I've actually done some preparing and I've got like some things to tell you guys. Now, off screen, I actually have done a couple of things. Now, if you, as you can see, I've got this hero of the village. I went back and actually off screen because I had to kind of focus and I kind of lured them away away from the village and like took them out one by one. Obviously, as you can see by the amount of totem of undyings I have, I saved the village from the raid, which I only had one more round to go, which is actually so annoying because we literally were like nearly died. And then I left. I was like, nah, I can't do this anymore. On the one that we left, it ended. It was the last one. Well, yeah, but now we have all these totems on undyings and like, you know, I'm pretty excited because we can now never die. Basically, I also got a lot more saddles as you can see, because there were some on the floor and see this bad boy in here. He's going to be very, very important for what we're doing in this episode. Now, what we're doing in this episode is, now over here, I've been thinking we do need iron. We need a lot of iron. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make an iron farm. Now, another thing that I had to do is the only reason I actually went back to the raid and finished it off off screen is because we're going to need some villages for this iron farm as well. So I thought, why not do that? So I'm excited for that. Another thing we're going to be doing in this video is making an XP farm. We're actually going to be going, wait, let me go and show you. Let me go and show you where we're going to be doing this because I am pretty ex- Oh, damn. I am pretty excited to do it. Oh, Steven. How you doing, Steve? Oh, I forgot I can ride you. <gasps> Hell yeah. Oh, he's stuck to the leash. You know what? That's good because you know what? We don't want to lose you yet. So, but we can actually use him to go adventure now. Yeah, Steve. Yeah. Anyways, so we're going to go down here. We're going to come right into here and we're going to go to the left. I think it's actually this way. I might be tripping. Yeah, right here. So if you guys remember in episode three or two, we found a skeleton spawner. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. So what we're going to do is actually make this into an XP farm, which is going to be very, very useful. We're going to actually have to make a little staircase down, which should be easy anyways. By the end of the video, we will have an XP farm that we can actually actually get a lot of XP because we're going to need it. We are going to need a lot of XP to kind of get ourselves ready for the Ender Dragon. We also do need a lot more enchants on these bad boys because look, this one right here, we have Sharpness 4, Unbreaking 3, Knockback 2, Sweeping Edge and Looting 2, which is pretty good. I'm not going to lie, but we need to get that Sharpness beautiful vibe. And I think we might need Fire Aspect as well because why the heck not? Our bow is kind of trash at the moment. We kind of do need a better bow. We also do need fortune on our pickaxe. We also do need a silk pickaxe as well, which would be very helpful. But enough of that. What we're going to do first, I think is the iron farm. Oh my God, I'm lost. Am I lost? Hey, yo. No. Wait, 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 wait. But yeah, so the first thing that I'm going to do is the iron farm. Iron farm is going to be pretty useful. It's going to be also the hardest one to make. <clears throat> so I think the iron farm is probably the best way to go. We're going to need to get three villages and some th and three beds for the villages but the hard part is to get the villages here so i don't know how i'm gonna do that i might just use some leashes because that's probably the easiest way to go about it this no the villager died or oh, did he despawn i gave him a helmet and something to hold as well no way okay well we're gonna have to get another villager i'm um, not villager zombie sorry we have to get another zombie and chuck him in there for now because we're gonna need him to go up and kind of sit inside a little water area because we're gonna need him to be able to actually make the iron bomb damn i can't believe i lost him well i guess we need to start now now the materials i'm gonna need for for this build is actually, I'm actually following a tutorial made by Wattles. I'll leave a link to his tutorial in the description. Basically, the materials I'm going to need are nine hoppers, two chests, one lava bucket, one water bucket, 12 signs, three stacks of any block, 10 stairs, two stacks of walls, three torches, three beds, three villages, a zombie, and well, he says a name tag, but a name tag is pretty hard to find, obviously, in survival. We're going to need to find a spawner for that, and I don't know if I can actually find one. So I know that if he, if the zombie is holding something, he kind of doesn't despawn but at the same time i literally had one down here and he despawned so i don't know how that's gonna work you know hopefully it actually ends up working oh my god it'd be good. it's gonna be so sick if it does work oh another thing i'm gonna be doing in this video is by the end of the video i think nearly near the end oh jane hold on you're right jane nigel what's going on my boy anyway so uh, i also want to make a storage room really bad because as we do need that now it's going to be very useful because we're gonna oh, oh you know what let's just put our thermon dying down here as well what the heck not oh, not the saddle there we go but we're gonna need a storage room very very very, very bad because we're kind of we kind of have chests oh, we kind of have chests like just sitting everywhere around which is kind of annoying me i'm not gonna lie i usually am very organized in my minecraft world but this is like the least organized i've ever been but where i'm gonna do it is right behind our enchanting table right here storage yes we're gonna do it right here so after we do the iron farm and the xp farm i'm gonna do that and hopefully that will be the video i'm pretty excited to get started so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and collect the materials we're gonna need for this iron farm build now where 
where I'm, I'm going to actually use these two chests that I grabbed and use this. I'm going to use this as our material chest for this iron farm. I think I'm going to put it right here, which should be pretty good. I think it'll be better next to our base. I'm also going to have to do it 12 blocks up in the air. So that should be sweet. I think also, yeah, I think I'm going to do it 12 blocks up in the air right over here next to our barn, just so we can kind of sit next to it and keep it loaded in while we do it. So we can get a lot of iron farm, which is going to be very good. So let's get started on the collecting. So I can actually use any material I want. So I don't know what materials I might actually just use stone brick because you know, that kind of looks the best. Uh, it can't be flammable. We already have some stone brick wall. So I think I might just use stone brick. I can't, it kind of also suits our area, like our base. So I think that's probably the best decision at the moment. We could obviously change it up later. I don't know if I have any more stone brick. Let's just check in here. We have oh, some more right there. Okay. So we have two stacks already. That's pretty good. Oh, we do need stairs. That's also very good. And what else do we need? Let's, you know what? Let's empty our inventory. Yeah, we do need, we really do need to build a storage room, which is going to be very, very useful. I'm very excited to do that. Okay. So we have two stacks and a little bit. I've actually emptied out my inventory. So now we have space to actually gather stuff. Let's see what else we can do. So we can, we need, oh, we have some in here. We need to make three stacks and a bit. So let's just get over here and hopefully we can make this. Yeah, there we go. Now we have three stacks and we need to actually get 37 more after that. So let's see if we can find any more. No, we can't. That's all right. That's all right. We can just go in here, grab our cobble and chuck her in this. Nope. Okay. You know what? Blast furnace doesn't work. We do need a lot more coal though. God damn. We're running out of coal. We might actually have to go to on a, on a little mining expedition, a little, little mining expedition, but we'll leave that in there for now. We do need 37 more pieces. So that shouldn't be hard to get anyways. Now on top of that, we do need to get our hoppers. So the hoppers are going to be useful. We're going to actually sacrifice our iron to get more iron, which I think is a good trade. So we're going to grab these acacia planks because no one is using them. We're going to grab nine chests, five. You know what? Let's do that. What in the heck just happened? Okay. We have seven in here. We have, we have spruce. Yep. We'll use that. And let's get two more. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. Okay. So now let's make the hopper. Nine hoppers. I think it goes like that. Yes. Oh no. We might not have enough iron. Damn it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can actually just go and get some iron real quick. But first, first let me go to sleep because you know, nighttime is not nice. Not nice. Doesn't really matter. Anyways, we have some total of undying. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm actually going to go down and get some iron. We shouldn't need that much more anyways. So it should be okay. Let's go down here. You know what? Let's go right. There we go. This is our little strip mine. Damn, it's been it's been a while since I've been down here with you guys. I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. If you guys are, oh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned. And if this is the first time you've ever seen me as well, you know, stick around because I'm going to be doing something crazy. Oh, we only have it for 19 minutes. Oh, this is where I found diamonds. Hell yeah, that was crazy. And if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. It's actually the fifth video. And if you want to check it out from the playlist, I'll leave a playlist link in the description. Okay, and we're back up. Now we're going to go straight over to the iron melter and we're going to just bang. Yeah, look at that. And we're going to put some coal in there. Oh, beautiful. And we're ready to make the rest of the stone bricks. Hell yeah, now we have enough. Okay, so we have our three stacks and 37 bricks. We also have our stone brick wall for now. We're actually going to just keep that on us. We have our seven hoppers, our two chests. Oh, well, we're going to need two more chests on top of that. So we'll keep that for the hoppers. But we'll make two more chests after that. We have one spruce sign. We don't, it doesn't really matter what signs we use. We kind of just need signs. We also need the 10 stairs. So we'll just get that at 10. There we go. And yeah, that's basically all we have for now. Oh, you know what? Put that water bucket in there. There we go. All we need left is the three beds and the zombie and the three villagers, which should be easy enough. Now we can actually just make our two chests that we're going to need. There we go. Put that in there. Beautiful. And you know what? I'm going to kill one of you. And who wants, who, who, who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Oh, I think you do. Oh, well, there we go. I'm I'm just going to need some. Oh, okay, you know what? We're going to need a. So, sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm going to come back and breed you guys soon. Just, just I just need your yep, three, six, nine. There we go. That's three beds right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do is now we're going <laughs> to go ahead and make those three beds. Grab that wood. Bang. Oh, you know what? Make that three. That's five. That's fine. And there we go. And you know what? I'm feeling a bit fancy today. So you know what? We're going to dye these different colors because why the heck not? You know what? We'll do one yellow. There we go. So we have one yellow. Grab a yellow one. There we go. We're going to go back into our little room right here and grab the rest of our dye. We are, we're, gonna, we're gonna make one red and one, you know what? We don't even need to do that. We have one blue, one red. You know what? Instead of yellow, I'm gonna do purple because purple is just better. Prove me wrong. You can't. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna do that. One blue one, one purple one, and one red one. Look at that. We have the OG bed and we have a purple one and a blue one. Okay, sick. So let's see if we actually have finished that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we can actually go ahead and make the last two hoppers. Beautiful. And we have the two chests that's spare. And 
And now we can make the rest of our walls. There we go. I don't know why I just did that so slowly. I'm going to quickly go to bed. Oh, look at our, look at our dragon. I, I keep forgetting like our dragon just looks so sick. I'm in love with that dragon for real. Look at that. Like you can't tell me that doesn't look sick. Oh, that's a bad angle anyways. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. I, that, I'm never going to try that ever again. Uh, uh, and look at that creeper farm. Beautiful. Okay. So oh, thought I was going to break that. Okay. So we're going to come over here. We're going to put the rest in here. So we need to go still. We still need to go get a bit more walls. Just a, just a tiny bit more walls. And we have the hoppers we need. We have the two chests that we need. We have two signs out of 12. So we need to make more right now. Three beds. We have the three beds right there. All we need now is that zombie. And we need the three villages. Oh, we also do need three torches. So we're going to grab the three torches real quick. Oh. I can make that right here. Three. Oh, you know what? I literally forgot that it makes four. How how good? We don't even need that much. We don't even need to waste our materials. Okay, sick. The hard part is now. But now, what we need to do is get the villagers to come with us. Now, I don't know how I'm exactly I'm going to do this. I could just go back and use the leads or I could use a boat. I might use boats, but before we do that, I'm going to make the signs. So we're going to grab, we already have sticks. I don't know what I'm doing. What I need is the wood. There we go. And we're going to do that. And 10. Oh, easy. Oh, well, actually we have 12. No worries. We're just, we're just going to use that 12 instead because I forgot to give you three instead of one, which is good, good, good. So now we have two spruce and 12 oak signs. So if I want to use a different sign, then I will. So now the next step is getting the villagers. Oh my God. Here we go. Now we, I might use actually Steve. I might use Steve on our village across to the village. Oh, oh, am I a rap God? Yes. Eminem. Come on. I'm sorry, Eminem. I love you. I love you. Um, okay. So we're going to, oh, we have a lava bucket. Yes. Oh my God. That's coming so clutch right there. Put our lava bucket away first, and then we shall be ready, almost ready anyways, to get started. I really need to, I haven't fed you ever. Wait, I fully forgot. You know what I did forget? I have fully forgotten that I found a ocean monument monument in the first episode. We've come a long way from the first episode. Oh my days. But I was just thinking about it. Like I have found an ocean monument. So when, we, when we're ready, I'm going to go to the ocean monument and get started on that. Should we give Steve our golden horse, horse armor? And now we are off to the village. We still have that hero of the village thing. Oh, Steve. There we go. Let's go, Steve. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh my God. Oh my days. Steve, you're kind of fast, bro. Yes, I know. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you guys. I'm the hero of the village. I know. I know. As you can see right in the top right corner. <laughs> yeah. Hello. So who wants to be part of my iron farm? Oh my days. Why are there so many of you? What the heck? What if I just... Ladies. Oh, well, actually, no, I need I need three of you. So who wants to come? Oh shit. Oh, I might have I might have done a bad thing. Just did a bad thing. They, can I not use a lead on you? No way. Oh, this is gonna be a mission. But what if I just well that works, I guess. Can I put a lead to the boat? You just gave me a wheat seed. I don't want that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave you there for now. God damn it. This is gonna be a problem. Okay, okay, we're gonna just line you guys up. Come on. Oh, why are you oh you're giving me stuff because I'm the hero. <gasps> thank you, thank you. You legend, you legend. But I'm gonna also need you to get in this boat over here. So you want to come? You want to come? You want to... Oh, I should use emeralds. Emeralds would have been better. Can I trade with you? Four emeralds. Four leather for one emerald. I don't have four leather, mate. I'm sorry. Now what I'm going to do is go home and take Steve with me. So then I can come back and actually take the villagers straight away. Steve, welcome to the rest of the animals, I guess. Okay. Now it's time to go back and actually use the boat. Yeah. So the easiest way I think I'm going to I'm gonna do is I'm going to get them to come down here and then go around this way, like into that river right there. And we're in. Let's go. Okay. And I am back. I've got the three villages and I've also gotten, I've also gotten ourselves a little zombie villager. Now I made a little leather helmet for him because uh, I was actually just testing out, like I've got all this rotten flesh in my inventory, but I was testing out which, which zombie could actually pick up something. And I gave them helmets first because obviously the sun and then I gave him a rotten piece of rotten flesh. He's holding it right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes. So now we've got him and hopefully he can't despawn. But now I'm pretty sure it is time to actually get started on the iron farm build. But let's just make sure we have everything we need. So we have stone brick. We have the walls. We might actually need to make some more walls. We shouldn't. Oh, we actually never mind. We have enough right there. So we basically have everything we need. So all we need to do now is actually get started on the build. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go off screen. And obviously, you know how this goes. It's cinematic time, baby.
Now, I have finished building the iron farm. I am actually so excited. All we have to do now is actually activate it. So what I have to do is kind of go up here. Let me just kind of climb up. Where should I go? I should probably go up like this, maybe. Let's go here. Because all I have to do now is actually open up the little area for the zombies. So we're going to break, oh, break this block. We're going to break. There you go. He's getting scared. We're going to break that block. He's getting scared. And we're going to break that block there we go and now it should start there we go it's already started it's already started let's go let's go hell yeah look at that now hopefully this should give us the iron we need oh my god it actually works yes iron yes let's go this is just on the walls we'll put oh my god hell yeah then so now it should just work oh my god that's actually so sick it works straight away if i afk here i don't know how much i'll get like how many iron golems will spawn but hopefully a lot because we need the iron i'm not gonna lie to you but let's just see let's see if another one spawns anytime soon hopefully i mean they look pretty scared up there i'm not gonna lie let's see there's one yes okay that's that's not that's not bad rates i'll take that rate i'll take that i'll take that and now we have officially finished the iron farm oh my god getting the villages over here was such a mission but it's so worth it because now we can just get iron whenever we want hell yeah i know this place kind of looks empty so if you guys have any suggestions to what to do like over here because it's kind of just an iron farm and nothing else if you guys have any other suggestions of what to put over there then let me know down below because i don't really know at all i mean i really do want to make a trading hall though because that would be pretty useful we do need mending on our, all of our tools because you know obviously we don't want them to break it's probably our best tools right now oh my god and we need to repair all of our armor oh my god yes so now what i'm gonna do is actually go ahead and start on the xp farm the xp farm we don't really need that much stuff to do we kind of just need to kind of dig out oh my god kind of dig out area we also need hella water buckets and we need some slabs and hoppers and chests so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down there and like dig out the area and put like the water around and you know obviously the skeletons spawning and to go down into like a little area where we can just go bang and all of them will just die and give us xp which will be pretty sick which it won't be hard to do anyways and and after that we will get to build our first ever storage room the storage room is going to be pretty sick and i'm excited for that but yes now let's get into the xp farm Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and get the two hoppers and some slabs, which it's not really hard to do. It's just a basic XP farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over here and use our handy dandy iron that we have been collecting. 15 iron. We'll take that for now. All we have to do is make two hoppers. I don't know if I have anything else in here that I can really use. We could probably use... You know what? I'm going to use these stone bricks to make some slabs. Oh, it's getting night time. Six. That's more than enough. We're also going to need... What else do we need? We need water. We're going to grab some water. I have a lot of buckets. God damn. Let me get a little bit more water. There we go. That should be enough. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down right now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yeah, true. Got to make the hoppers first. What am I on? I get distracted so easily. Let's go in here. Grab some wood. Do we have any wood? Yeah, we do. Make... You know what? We're going to make four... That's five. We'll just make four though. There we go. And then we're going to use two to make two of these bad boys. Oh, beautiful. So now really all we have need to do is go down there and start mining. No, thank you. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to dig it out one block out. So we're going to just make it one block, I guess, wider and oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. That's so annoying. Okay, well, we're just going to have to dig it out one block more. Hopefully this water doesn't be aged though. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to finish off kind of digging everything out. I'm going to just speed it up. I might not even have to make it cinematic because, you know, it's not going to take that long anyways. So I'm, I'll be right back when I place down the water and I actually make the hopper chest. So let's get into it. Okay, so basically this is where we're going to actually do it. So this is the, basically the dimension. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it's going to be 9 by 9 and it's going to be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 tall. But then we're going to go down 10 blocks from here. So we're going to go into here and we're going to go right underneath and dig that. But before we do that, we're going to place the water. So we're going to place one here and it should 
push exactly like right there. There we go. One over here. Perfect. And then one over here. Perfect. And then one over here. Perfect. Let's go. Okay. So now down 10 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to dig out an area. So we should probably, we can make, we're going to make the area where they would, you know, obviously sit. So we're going to make it out like this. And we're going to dig out this area like that. There we go. Make our little, little thing. Now I don't know where this is going to go. Okay. So I'm going to break this and we're going to place the two chests here. And then we're going to feed the hopper into that one. Hopefully it's connected. Is it connected? Yep. And then we're going to feed this hopper into that one. Place some slabs over it. Oh, not, not that. Okay. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to take our pickaxe, break this one right here. And we're going to obviously get rid of that torch. We don't need that torch right there. Put that there. Bang. Okay, cool. And then we're going to break that there just so we can have double skeletons, I guess. And then we'll have like that. There we go. And that's basically it. That's all we need. Oh, and another thing we need to do, I literally forgot, almost forgot, is we're going to need to break this, put a block on that. And there we go. And we're going to go down, 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 go down. Okay. Is it completely dark up there? Did I forget to get rid of a torch? Oh, shit. I may, have, I, may have, I may have forgotten to do something. Oh, there's one torch. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Stop, guys. Stop, guys. Stop, guys. Okay, and we're going, and we're going, 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 and not turning back. Not turning back. Bang. Oh, that's not good. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay, what is a problem? Okay. Well, sh well at, least, at least we know what works. Oh, my God. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see already. Yeah, I bet. So it works. So now all we have to do really is just sit here and just keep spamming. Okay, so now we just wait. But now what we have to do is make our way out. So I'm going to grab this and put a torch right there. Just so no mobs spawn down here. Oh my God, they're stacking up. Hello. Okay, but now what we need to do, we need to get a way out of here. Quick and easy. 55. Great. I have no idea how close that is to the service. Oh, some dirt. I don't know. I have no idea where we're going to end up. Oh, and we made it. Oh, right here. Oh, that's actually a perfect spot. Wow. I'll take that. That's actually a good spot. I'm not going to lie. Okay. And now we can just go down here. Oh, well, I have to actually fix it up a little bit. Ah, ah. Oh my God. Okay. At least, at least we have an area where we can go. Yes. But that's going to be the XP farm for now. All I have to do now is build the storage room. And the storage room is going to be basically quite simple. All I'm going to do is actually dig out an area where we can hold as many chests as we can. Because obviously, we're running out of storage. Look at that. We have a a mess of stuff. I mean, this the sugar cane is, you know, sugar cane, but in here, what is this? Like, what is going on? Basically, all the materials I'm going to need are oak logs and a lot of chests, and I'll just make it look nice. It doesn't really, I don't really know the design I'm going to do yet, but you guys will get to see that, and I'll make it look as good as possible, hopefully, but I'm going to make it more efficient, so it'll be more like I can compact all our chests into, like, one area, so I'll have, like, heaps of chests, like, rows and stuff, and I'll put them kind of vertical, so, like, instead of being, uh, instead of them being like that, like, that way, I'll make them wait 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 i'll make them that way oh my god the animals bro let me just put their volume down where's that oh my god oh my god they're still loud as hell okay anyways but yeah i'll put them vertical so they'll go this way and then like i'll have rows and rows and rows of chests but you guys will obviously get to see that so if you guys are excited and if you guys are enjoying this video so far let me know down below and if you guys want to see me do anything else in this minecraft world also let me know down below i'll always take your suggestions and i'm always excited to do and bring you a new minecraft video so with that being said let's get into the storage farm
And we've finished our storage room. It's right behind me, right behind me, right there. I put a soul lantern right there because I think it would look better anyways, just to give it more like more of a better transition from the enchanting room to the storage room. Look at that bad boy. Hell yeah. Now we have a lot of chests. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, we have like nine here, nine here, nine there, nine there, nine there, nine there, nine there. Yeah, sick. Oh my god. So what I'm going to do is at the start of the next video, I'm actually going to sort everything out from all of our like separate chests around our world. But but I hope you guys do like the storage room. It is, I actually really like it. It's, you know, it's just, it's kind of simple, but I've never really been a fan of the checkers. I've kind of like tried to stay away from it, but you know what? I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of vibing it right now. I'm kind of vibing it. You know what? Like, and with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. I I really enjoyed making this video. This video was crazy. I made an iron farm, an XP farm, and a storage room. Oh my god, we're on the way to defeating the Ender Dragon. How good is that? I am actually so excited to do the Ender Dragon. I'm also very scared at the same time. And let me know down below in the comments as well if you want to see me do anything else, making other farms. Also, if you guys haven't checked out all the previous episodes, I'll leave a playlist link as always in the description from episode one to episode 14, which is this episode. But as always, peace.